Crawford, man, I always take the time and express to you out there who are watching in the boxing world that there, no matter what you do, no matter what sport you are part of, and no matter what business you are part of, no matter what it is you do, there are levels to that game. I'm going to break down this fight tonight that just happened minutes ago between Crawford and Benavidez. But before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Eric A. Bradley, a.k.a. The Real Fight Doctor. And for those who have never watched this channel, shame on you. We're about to break this fight down, round by round. As Benavidez, Benavidez came out, postured the right kind of posture for a guy who's super slick, super quick, and can attack you to the head and body at any given time of the fight. Um, but he wasn't prepared for, was Crawford not falling for the bait? Crawford is not only a counter puncher, he's a boxer puncher. What does that mean? When you're a boxer puncher, you don't only counter and box around the ring, you also bring the pain. You have a system and bring in the pain. You have the power, but you also have the ring generalship and the boxing prowess to compete at any level against any athlete that's in that ring boxing. Sugar Ray Leonard, boxer puncher, very offensive minded. Terrence Crawford falls into the category of that style. He can draw you in, he can pull you out, he can set you up, or he can lead. Not only did he do those things, but during the fight, as the fight went on, because it was kind of even at the beginning, but you have to collect the data. You know you're a bad man when Warren Buffett is sitting in the middle of the crowd, not in the boxes, not on the front row, but when he's there to see you, you got to be special. Jerry Jones goes to see Earl Spence when they're at Dallas Stadium, and Warren Buffett came to see Bud Crawford, and Bud Crawford took it to the next level as the fight went on. The fight during the week, the heat was consistently going up higher and higher as the days go on. But one thing you must know, whenever you're a fighter, you're going to be put in a position where one day you have to walk that walk that you're talking. Conor McGregor, Khabib, Namadov. This is a key point. As the sixth round approached, we all know that that's when the fight really begins. And guess what happened when we saw that? At that point, you started to see when Terrence Crawford, he switched southpaw in the first round. Because what he does is that's his, that's his safe zone. He knows you can't get comfortable with that. So Benavidez tried to draw him in, go to the ropes. Terrence was like, nope, he was going high. So one of the things that... I was reeling for when my fighters need to get inside is to keep your head off the line as you're coming. You're throwing shots, but you got to keep your head off the line. Once Terrence Crawford started to do that, somewhere in the seventh round, he started to keep his head because he was getting caught with some counters with his head straight on the line. It's not easy as it looks. I know a lot of you guys follow me on YouTube and you're like, Coach, I've been watching your videos. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. Man, we in the gym four hours every single day and then two a days for the athletes that are competing at a high level you got to come in that beast that piece twice why because it takes a lot of time and years to ingrain what you hear people saying y'all are just saying it you're not able to do it you can watch these guys do it and sit on the couch and say hey why didn't you do that because it's only so much that the brain capacity could hold at one time. You can't retain but so much information. Crank it out under fire when you're trying to figure out a puzzle. And Benavidez gave him a puzzle to figure out. Long, he had him about four inches and then had the length and was a natural counter puncher. Crafty like Hopkins. One of the things that you have to be careful of is being set up. But you know, Bud did what he needed to do. He started taking that thing up top. I was calling for this. As he a southpaw, you go high, you make sure that right leg's on the outside. That is just not taught. Because when you throw the shots, boom, you're lining them up on the chin and you're on the 
outside of their punch just enough to not get countered. So what Bud started to do, he started to slip the shots and go here and boom to the body and then come back up top. By the eighth round, I said, Bud needs to throw an uppercut. Bud clearly is edging the rounds. But Benavidez is still trying to get in his head, trying to draw him in, trying to make him come outside of his game plan. But what he did from that point on, he moved around. He started using more angles and circling and pop, 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 and doubling the jab so Benavidez couldn't counter. Then, as I closed this out, 10th round, 11th round, 10th round, Bud Crawford's mom called for the knockout. He couldn't get the job done. He hit him, boom, bam. Your boy had a good chin. I was like, man, that uppercut would have been great. So the 12th round, the 12th round was happening, and uh, they were going toe to toe, verbally more than anything. Benavid is once again trying to draw Crawford to the ropes, and then they just went at it, and Crawford just threw the jab, and boom! All of a sudden, Benavidez threw the uppercut, and Crawford just it just slipped out right outside, and boom! And was about to throw the hook, and boom! And Benavidez's neck nearly snapped around like the exorcist and did a flip. <laughs> Knocked him out, dropped him, gave him an eight count. He didn't get up to the count of eight. <laughs> then it was like 15, 20 seconds to go. Crawford went, went over there and gave him the business. Because when it's all said and done, you can talk and talk and talk at the weigh-in. Through the week, through social media, you guys instigate it. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to come and get that smoke. And Crawford closed the deal. Stop the fight. Knockout. It's a lesson learned. This is what the sport of boxing offers. I must say, with his big head of, uh, uh, the big head behavior that Benavidez has showed all week, he did show sportsmen like um, sportsmanship after the fight. Excuse my French. I'm from France. You know it. He gave it up to Crawford. But he also gave it up to himself saying, hey, he didn't know I was going to be this good. But he was decent. You know what I'm saying? He could beat an average guy. But there are levels to this game. Like I said at the beginning of this post, you can talk it, but when you go up in there and 13,000 screaming for the other guy and the other guy can really, really do what they think he can do, then that could be a problem. Like I said before, this game, there are levels to it. And you can't get up off the couch and do it. So, that's all I got for right now. But, if you're learning, or if you're coaching, and you really got to get that book on how to do it the right way, or assist yourself in getting it to that point where you're walking down that aisle, Man, you got to do the study and you got to do the homework. Click the link down there in that description because that's what we do. We educate the fighters. We in this game to do the thing the right way, the process. You can't escape it. That's why people like Warren Buffett are sitting at ringside watching Bud Crawford. I'm out of here right now. But before you go, if you appreciate it and like this post, simply like it, subscribe. And hit the bell for the notifications when you give when we're giving you that knowledge. It's the best on the market, and we keep it thorough. We out of here. Be blessed at God's speed. Fight world stand up. Coach Eric A. Bradley here, aka the Real Fight Doctor, and this is Master Boxing. You'll get your master's degree in boxing, and when we break the fight world down. Round by round. Subscribe. Be blessed at God's be. We out. Peace. Crawford. Benavidez. Smoker. Peace.